watch her gracefully outstretch her long white neck with a forceful finesse. Like an ancient yawn that's waited a lifetime to unclench, or a dancing dolphin finally catching its breath. I watch her this way, each day, peacefully poised and patient. If I had air or the lungs to inhale, then I'm sure I'd call her breathtaking. But since I have no flesh to offer, I am no mollusk for her to scoff, and I am not her daughter swan that she thoughtfully dotes on. I hold her with my great mass and hope, at least, she's grateful for that. I cannot be her protector. When, ma when man makes his mark on her leg and wrestles with the angelic snake that is her neck, when man makes a mockery of her, calls her into a herd, and his skin taints the water with that human musk, it smells like oil and unwarranted touch. I do what I can to hold her up. With the buoyancy I'm blessed with and unshakable love, my years far outstretch even the span of her neck. So I feel her chest pressed to my moving body and tell her in the waves I set in motion softly. Wherever she ventures, she has always got me to hold her.